In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an event for your group. So first, go into the group that is hosting the event. If you are co-hosting an event, there's a really cool option for that, which I'll get in later, but just pick one group at first to create the event. So let's create meetings for the Student Government Association. Again, I'm an administrator, so this is going to be the first page I see. I'm going to go over here to the left side menu and click Events. If you have any events inputted, they will be listed here where you can manage them. You will also be able to see past events, drafts, or even ones you've deleted. You can also get a calendar, attendance reports, or even make name badges. We have a few templates for you to choose from. You don't have to use any of them. Uh, I, to make things easier, I have a club meeting template for you to follow, or a student organization event template, or if you're a department, there's a departmental event. If you want to start completely from scratch, all you have to do is not click anything and click on next. Since we're going to be creating a club meeting, we're going to click on this one. And it takes you to the event creation page. You'll see it made a template copy, and I've got some instructions in the description box. So please change the event name. So that's what we have right here. So we're going to delete that. And we're going to call these Student Government Association Meetings. Make sure you put that campus designation at the end. If you're Blue Ridge, it's BLR, Cumming, CMG, Dahlonega, DAH, Gainesville, GVL, and Oconee, OCN. And it gives you an example of that right there. And then in this box, you write a description for your meeting. These are weekly meetings. Now event type, this is a club org meeting. This is filled in from the template. Now if you were creating another event, you have a wide variety of things to choose from, whether it is a um, workshop, or it's a club event, or it's a fundraiser, so there's lots of options. If your event doesn't fit any of these event types, please email student involvement and we'll get that updated. Now event tags is also really important. We have a ton of these and if you think of any more that you would like, please let us know. The biggest one is you're going to want to put what campus you're at. So this is Oconee. I'm going to put Oconee Campus Event. Now say this was a big event that I had food. I can actually put free food right here. Or it's a guest speaker or guest artist, or it's a fundraiser, or it's an internship. There's just a variety of different things you can choose from. Organizing team. So I'm going to put myself as the event coordinator, but I could put any of my administrators right here. You can also add team members who are helping you organize this event. We scroll down to when. So now this is where it gets a little tricky with meetings, but it's not that bad. And I've got directions listed in here. All right, start date. We are going to start on August 19th. We meet from 12 to 1. Make sure the time zone is correct, it should be. Now, for here, click on Recurring Event Settings, which is down here, and then if you are doing a recurring event. But also to remember to delete this text, or it's going to look really weird. So I'm going to click on Recurring Events, and you can pick exactly which days your event will be reoccurring. So if your meetings are reoccurring every Monday, you go to that first, or meeting that Monday the 19th, then the 26th, Make sure you pay attention to holidays, so we would not be meeting September 2nd, that's Labor Day. I'm gonna to go to the next Monday, and just continuing to click for this whole semester, so so on and so on. And I can make that disappear, but it's still there, don't worry. Is this on campus or off campus? If it's on campus, you're gonna say where it is. Say this was off campus though. Click off campus, click off this box, and you can say where this is. So this is at, say we're having a meeting at Fox's Pizza. You can also display map and location, and you can even put in the address of where this place is, and it will show a Google map to where that is. Right now we're gonna go back to our on-campus meeting. All right, next option is photo and flyer. You can leave this blank. I have a, a template picture in here for you. You don't have to upload a flyer, but if this is for an event, I do highly recommend uploading your flyer here and then choosing a photo. Now, you can choose one of your own photos by doing that from your computer, or you can go to a preset photo gallery of free photos we have here. So you can choose from a list of those. Once you have your photo and your flyer, you go down here. Is there a dress code? There's not one, so we're not gonna do that. Is there food provided? You click there and you say what kind of food's provided, but we don't have anything for meetings, so we're gonna unclick that. Now, who can see this? 
I have it as everybody who is a University of North Georgia Connect user. So everyone in our community can see this. Now if you want it to be public, you can click on the everyone so that everyone can see it. And who can see this event? I'm gonna put group members only. So only people who are actual members of this group can see it, but you can also change that if you want. You can also display events on the upcoming event slider. This is only used for really, really big things. So like convocations, graduations, big, big events. So don't use this for your meeting. Do you want people to register for this event? I have a standard no for, for meetings because it, it can get a little confusing, but say you did want people to register, you click yes. And then there's a lot of registration options you can do. You can send a feedback request, but if you have a feedback request, you need to have a form created. So I don't have a form created here, so I'm gonna click that off. You have a bunch of more advanced options, attendance tracking methods, more questions for RSVP. If you have a speaker, you can put their information. You can redirect someone after registration. You can add a sponsor if you have like a corporate sponsor of some sort. You can also have a co-host event. So this is who I was talking about before. So who is co-hosting your event? Um, you'll have to search through here and click on anybody who is also co-hosting your event. And then right here, we would create event. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you click submit, it's gonna take you to the event approval form. You're gonna say which campus this is happening at, what club is sponsoring this. So find your club, it's in alphabetical order. Primary contact, I'm gonna put myself, and it will pop up. Now has this been reserved in EMS, our event management system for the university? This has been, so I'm gonna say yes. If it hasn't, you're not gonna get approved. You can go ahead and submit this, but no one's gonna approve it yet. You can also say not applicable if, if this is something that wouldn't be in the event management system. So if it's gonna be meeting off campus of some sort. Would you like this event to be included in the Student Involvement Weekly Email Newsletter? This is a meeting, so I'm gonna say no. And then I don't also, I don't want it in the restroom stall newsletter either. And then you can add any comments that you want. And if you have any questions, contact the Office of Student Involvement, and then you click Submit. And you're done.